Hello, one and all, and welcome to Fantasy Forge. I'm Cameron Holt, and today I'm taking my first steps in a long journey of redrawing every monster in the Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual in my own style. This will also be my first time really delving into Procreate, so I'm sure I'll have some things to say about that as well. We're going to start with some of the most iconic monsters in the Monster Manual in today's episode, Aberrations. Let's do it. First up is the Intellect Devourer. These hideous, disgusting little creatures are the creations of Mind Flayers. They are formerly humanoid brains that have been subjected to a cruel ritual by Mind Flayers and then grow legs and tongues and wander about the Underdark, taking people's brains and enthralling them to lure others back to the Mind Flayers' lair. I personally like the kind of dog-like aspect of them, so I went for a very canine vibe. If you're familiar with my other work from the D&D Pokemon fusions and videos of that nature, you know that I tend to take a very painterly approach. More often than not, I just kind of block in solid colors and then start painting with light and playing with shadows and things of that nature. But in this case, I wanted to go for a more kind of cartoony style, which meant inking, which is a long and tedious process that I, I don't personally enjoy a whole lot, but Procreate did make it a lot more enjoyable with their stabilization features and things of that nature. And then from there, I go back in to the old ways and start painting shadows and light to really give some depth and volume to the piece. Once the shadows are in, I start going in with highlights to really make things pop. And because it's a disgusting brain creature, we gotta make it look slimy. So I go in with almost a pure white and add some very sharp highlights to certain areas to make it all look wet. Intellect of Hours are a very fun uh, thing to introduce to your campaign, if not just to horrify your players. There's a wonderful quote in the Monster Manual that goes as follows. Don't cry. We have no intention of eating your brain. In fact, your brain is going on a wonderful journey. Cork Elslurk, the Mind Flayer. Up next is probably the most iconic monster in all of D&D, the Beholder. For those of you who may not know, Beholders are disgusting blobs of floating tentacles and eyes and teeth that are as intelligent as they are paranoid. They assume that everyone around them is jealous of their intense magical power and that there are enemies lurking around every corner. They're described as xenophobic isolationists They also have the fun ability that their dreams affect the world around them, so you never know what you're going to run into in a beholder's lair. And you never know what strange happenings in the city or village around you are because of the beholder's dreams. With this new style that I'm trying to work out, I'm focusing a lot on shape and shape language. So I didn't want to go for just a straight ball for the Beholder. I wanted there to be jagged edges and angles and spikes along with the tentacles and the iconic eye. And I'm pretty happy with what I achieved on this one. Drawing a number of tentacles is always a challenge as they behave in a very specific way, but capturing that specificity is quite a challenge in its own.
also wanted to play with color a little bit, so I went with this kind of purple violety vibe that you see on a lot of aberrations depictions, but I also wanted to have that complemented in the eyes. So in doing so, I actually went with a straight compliment and went with a kind of purple and gold theme for the eyes of this beholder. We'll end this one with a quote from the Monster Manual as well. From Valkara Ironfell, the Dwarven Sage. Every beholder thinks it's the epitome of beholder kind. And the only thing it fears is that it might be wrong. Last, but definitely not the least, is the Mind Flayer. I mentioned Mind Flayers earlier during the Intellect Devour, as they are the creators of the monstrous little beasts. Mind Flayers, also known as Illithids, are horrid psionic tyrants. They harvest entire races for their own devices, mostly to eat their brains. Upon doing so, experiencing all of the emotion, greatest fears, and personality of the brain being devoured. They communicate telepathically, and more often than not, live in hive mind colonies, being ruled over by an elder brain, which we'll get to in a later video. In my own personal games, my players have a deep fear of mind flayers. In our Waterdeep campaign, there's a mind flayer named Nihilor that comes up a couple of times in the book, and I decided to use him a little bit more than just that, and ended up actually causing the death of one of my players. So now every time a mind flayer is mentioned or comes up in game, there's a gasp, or sometimes a groan, that wafts across the table. This was actually the inspiration that I had for doing this entire series. I'm not sure why, but when I was thinking of this style, I could just see this illustration so clearly in my head that I had, I had to do it. And thus, this series was born. This one I played around a lot with getting the proper shape language, as well as depth, and not just leaving the lines as a solid black or a singular solid color. went in and changed the line work to be multiple colors to really give off that kind of psionic spacey feel. There's no quote in the monster manual about mind flayers, but do your best to steer clear of them. Especially with a brain as succulent and tasty as yours. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button. We got buttons for everything around here. I'm always trying new things with art and creativity, and I would love to have you along for the journey. On that note, I will see all of you in the next episode. But until then, stay safe out there, adventurers.